books about bookshops. But what happens when there's a book that's about a book in a bookshop? My mind just shuts down when I think about that. And I've noticed it's quite a popular phenomenon among Japanese authors, at least. There's like a sort of aesthetic, you could call it, about books being written in bookshops. Although last week I did read um, a book about a bookshop called the Hyu Nam Dong, Welcome to the Hyu Nam Dong Bookshop, which was a South Korean book. And uh, yeah, you do tend to think that, oh, that it's just South Korea will probably copy Japanese books. But yeah, that one book wasn't bad. I didn't mind it. Um, contrary to what the freaking commenter wrote on my video, he was saying, you didn't read it, did you? I didn't ask your opinion, you moron. Um, yeah, that's how I reply to comments like that. But um, thanks for commenting anyway, because you gave me the algorithm and uh, allowed more people to click on my videos. Uh, but yeah, the, it, the, most of these books about bookshops, um, I've noticed they go on a central theme. It's usually the protagonist is a woman um, who is in her 30s. She's single. She doesn't really know what to do with her life. And then voila, she goes into a bookshop. And she either owns a bookshop or she has a family member that owns a bookshop. Like Days at the Morisaki Bookshop, which I read at the very start of this year. It's like the end of January, can you believe it? It's still the start of this year. Why am I saying at the very start of this year? Um, but no, like around New Year's, I read um, Days at the Morisaki Bookshop, which was, yeah, it was quite an entertaining read. Um... They do obviously have this sort of predictable plot line. Um, you know, you're not going to learn, like, have a huge revelation in the books about the bookshops. It's more about, supposed to be about a chill read, which I sort of understand. It is very relaxing. And um, it's not much drama or anything going on. If people just want a book that that's just they want to read it on a holiday or, uh, like, they're just going through a rough time. They just want a book to read. Like the, these books are definitely a good pick. Um, but yeah, I think that's just sort of what's trending right now. Um, like I don't know what is exactly trending in the literary world nowadays. So um, I could be completely off on that. I definitely am. I know everyone's like my age is reading like Colleen Hoover and Taylor Jenkins Reid and all these authors that I have virtually no interest in because again if something's popular I don't really usually go buy it um but and quite literally I don't buy it but I also mean it in the metaphorical sense um but um yeah the, as for the books about bookshops although they can be cliche I quite like them um books by Japanese authors genuinely I don't have a problem with um, unless it's like the AI book I talked about last week, which is like, hey, how is that getting published? There are some Japanese fiction that I'm like, this w this only gets published because it's Japanese and everyone thinks, well, it's a Japanese book, it's written by a Japanese author, that means it must be good and that kind of I don't like, that sort of side of the literary world, if you would call it that, but um, I would still read like pick up these books I don't know I just felt the need to make a short video talking about it <laughs> so what is your favorite book about a bookshop do you have any recommendations let me know